Right. Anyone who's ever seen this screen knows that Voodoo can be a dick. So, to make it even worse, let us completely reset everything I have ever done on this add-on. Boom. It is uh, apparently reloading my UI. You can't see it. And it is taking an extremely long time because I'm currently rendering uh, the other video that I recorded earlier. Um, so we are completely resetting Voodoo and all of its shenanigans so that we can go through the pain of setting it up together. God damn it, why am I doing this to myself? I had a perfectly good setup. Now let's just wait until my PC stops shitting itself and we can get started. Any minute now. Alright, so here we have it. The completely blank setup of Voodoo. So if we go here, hold test, this looks like crap. Yeah, so we don't want to raid with this. So let's go to the general tab. So like this, this means um, if you got people here in your main tanks, they will not appear in the raid frames. So if I do it like this, they will appear in the raid frame. So fire profit, fire profit, they appear two times. I don't want that. I just want them to appear here. You can uh, enable this if you would like uh, to have your groups in five man dungeons set up to have a, a main tank. I don't want that. So I don't, I don't do this. Um, hide panels when I'm solo, yes. Hide panels in pet battles, yes. And always lock panels. That's pretty much all I change here. Right, the scanners, I don't care about your talent trees. All I care about in this tab is I don't want to know which direction you're in, even if you're out of range. Um, I do, however, want this to happen. This combat log will significantly speed up uh, the speed at which your frames update, so if you take damage, it'll, you know, just appear a lot faster on the frames if you got this enabled. So, there we go. Um, keep that on. As for indicators, uh, all I do is pretty much put this on border simple. Um, if you've got it on border multi, uh, it'll have three states. Um, your normal border, a border for when you're hovering, and a border for when you've got selected. Um, I don't really care too much. I just want a nice border, so I put it on simple. We are also going to remove the special dot, because who gives a fuck if you're, uh, if you've got an Im like an, an unmovable dot in the middle of your frames. If we desperately want to know what role you are, we can still enable that later. Now we've got a thing here called bouquets. Uh, we'll touch on that later when we get to the panels, and we get to the hot section. There you go. So right now we've not really changed anything yet. What we've got here is spells. So what happens if I click on this, I cast Flash of Light. Not exactly what we want. Well, it, actually it is exactly what we want. Um, but if you want it to just target someone, you remove this. Set target. Now it'll just target me. Like a normal frame. However, I like it to be um, flash of light. So that means every time I click on myself, I will cast a flash of light. Right click would be cleanse. That's pretty much it. All the rest can go and fuck itself. Same here. Shift. Okay. Alt click for me is target. So if I press Alt and click, it uh, targets me. If I just left click, it flashes light. So Alt click, target, just left click flash of light. There we go. That's all we need to know here. Don't care about this, don't care about this. I don't want to auto trigger. And that is pretty much it. I don't touch this because I don't use buff watch. There we go. Debuffs. Uh, disable boss only. That means uh, it'll only show the icons if it's a boss debuff. I like to know the debuffs of uh, the trash as well. Um, so, 
let's do that. This uh, this button here, though, um, it'll mean uh, it's not going to show me any debuffs I can't cleanse. If you want a sound to play, when you can cleanse a debuff, though, you can select one of these. Uh, I don't have this on. I've tried it, and it pretty much becomes annoying. So, there we go. These options right here, um, these are for uh, irrelevant um, debuffs. So non-harmful, don't care. Movement, see you can you can do this. This would be um, say you're getting uh, slowed by something. It's not going to show up because it's only a slow. Uh, I don't really care about that. I don't have a master spell. Uh, I've got two hands of freedom. That's all I can do. Um, and if people are getting slow, they'll probably notice it. This means uh, this one right here will only uh, will filter the ones that have an extremely short duration left. And class is pretty much like, is a rogue getting mana burned? Yes or no? Who cares? It's a rogue getting mana burned. He doesn't even have mana. <sighs> okay, so here we are at the panels. So let's get max rows to 5, because nowadays you write in a group of 25. So let's go with um, a 5x5 five five here. That, that should do it. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You can select grouped or loose. So grouped would be, it'll just keep group 1, 2, 3, 4 in the same rows. So no matter what happens, those groups will stay together. However, I like it loose. Um, I need to drag this one here. There we go. Okay, panels. It was getting a bit confusing there, wasn't it? <laughs> so panel one is what we're working with. Um, so let's go with loose. Now I don't care um, about the groups that much. I want to filter it uh, in a way that it'll show the tanks first, then the healers, and then the damage dealers which pretty much will translate to just the healers and the damage dealers because the tanks will appear in the main tank, fr uh, main tank frame if your raid leader sets them up to be uh, the main tank. If your raid, le raid leader doesn't set that up, um, they'll still appear here and at the first row, so you should be fine. Um, can I select all of these? Ah, oh, I can't. Fuck. Bugger. Um, let's remove the private tanks because I don't care. I don't care about pets. I don't care about NPCs. Uh, I don't care about these. There we go. Okay. So back to panels. Um, what we're going to do here is um, first and foremost give it a, a place here. So let's drag this over here. And it's anchored to the top left. So it's going to go down and to the right. Um, I will always appear first uh, in the healer list. So let's say this is the tank, this is the tank, these are the healers. I will appear right here because I will be the first on the healing uh, healing list. Um, change the background color. Why not? Uh, let's go for FF. 3 4 th 3 4 3 4 if I remember correctly. Yep, there we go. It's a nice gray background. It's okay. The border is completely black. There we go, border is 2. As I keep saying, um, we have got, um, what's it called? Shared media, so you should all have the same. Um, you should all have the same uh, textures as I do. So with that, let us head to sizing. Now sizing is where you set the bar width, uh, the margins, stuff like that. I like to have my bars at around 32. Well, let's just see how, far, how big we get them here. So they still line up. Actually, I'll have them at 31 and play with the, uh, the margins. So 31. Alright, bar width. This seems to be fine. X gap. Right, how much space do we want between the the panels horizontally? So let's go here. And you can you make this as big as you want to. 
uh, not the panel, between the panels and uh, the frame. So let's have it on 6, I think it is, or 7. Let's keep it on 7. And a Y gap on 7. So we've got a nice margin around the edges. And then the X spacing is what I meant. There we go. 7, 7. We've got a nice frame here. Um, it appears to be a bit too big, so let's have the Y spacing at six. Yeah, so it lines up quite nicely with my um, my unit frames. I'm quite annoyed, however. Like it's just, yeah. Oh well, I'll just try not to look at it. Uh, we can actually probably can we scale this up ever so slightly. No, let's not do that. Back to one you go. <laughs> let's just keep it at this. So we've gone we we've gone through the general settings and the sizing. Now let's go to the bars. Everyone knows I love flat. So flat is where it's at. Her her, that rhymes. There we go. That looks a lot better in my opinion. Um mana bar height. Do I care about mana bars? Not really. So let's go to general indicators. Mana bars off. Um, I know this seems counterintuitive, but uh, I will hear from the healers if they're out of mana. They will be, uh, they will be more than happy enough to tell me about how um they are and how salty they are about it. Or I'll be, I'll be more than happy enough to complain about how out of mana I am. So it works both ways. So we go back to the bars and we set it to class color. You can also set it to a solid color if you want to, um, which works, I guess. Um, for the sake of this video, let's have that. Damage flash, it's pretty much is anyone taking severe damage. I don't care about that. I'll notice if it, I'll probably notice it if they're taking uh, severe damage. Headers, they should be off by standard. If you, however, chose to have grouped on, uh, headers will be enabled. Uh, just disable them if you want to. Uh, this is where you disable them. Targets, no one cares about targets. Um, this will show you what they're targeting. Who gives a shit? No. Tooltips is what I have disabled. Um, see, it's what you see right here. Don't care about this. Don't show it. Text. Right, right, right. So, that's how the text is centered. And, uh, do I care about your name? No. Do I care about if you uh, are the owner of a pet? No. All I care about is if you're dead, out of range, AFK, and that's it. Uh, and your hit points. Um, the hit points I like to sort by missing. So I don't care about about how much HP you've got left. I care about how much HP you're missing. Um, so that's pretty much it. So the life text size is right here. Put this a bit bigger. Uh, this needs to be Ubuntu. There we go. So we've got this set up. Uh, maximum characters for a name is four. This is in case you do decide to display your names. Um, this will abbreviate anything that is longer than four letters. So let's say um, uh, you've got me in your, in your party, Electabuzz. I will show up as Elec. That's pretty much all that happens. Um, do you want to class color this? Eh, who cares? No. I didn't care about the class color earlier, so I don't care about the class color now. Hot icons. Uh, this is where the bouquets come in. So, uh, as you can see, let's put this here. This is uh, a bit less hectic. Um, let's have a flat texture and text. So as you can see here, this says beacon of light. Um, what this does is slot 1, which is right here, the top left corner. If I've got beacon of light on them, it'll show me. It'll show me a flat texture. So, for the sake of this, let's go here, not hide while solo. And if I put beacon here, that's what happens. You get this, right? If I put my other beacon, it'll go down here. So we've got two different ones. So this is for beacon of faith. This is for Beacon of Light. However, I can never have both of them on the same target, so we're going to make a bouquet. So, make a new bouquet name. Bacons. Mm-mm, bacon. No. I'm going to add one over here. 
beacon of light. Boom. No div. There we go. And add beacon of faith. None. Alright, so what have we done here? We've created a group where we've got both beacon of light and beacon of faith. We go back to our panels. 